Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to ask question 88, 2015, under my name, to Honorable Minister for tra Industry, Trade and Tourism. Could the Minister inform this House how will the Fijian Tourism Expo benefit the government and the economic at large? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. I give the floor to the Minister for Industry, Trade and Tourism. Madam Speaker, I rise to answer the question by the Honourable Member. But before I do, I must take advantage of the jovial mode today. Um, I'd like to, on behalf of myself and the Honourable Minister Konote and Honourable Vunivalu and Honourable Jalila Nalimu Kumar to say congratulations to Natambua and Jasper Williams. <laughs> Purely because we are all ex Natambua and Jasper. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't number too many, but we hold our own. Yeah. Always invited. <laughs> and also, may I also take this opportunity to say welcome to the lovely ladies from the West. Yeah. Madam Speaker, this year's um, Fijian Tourism Expo will be held from the 16th to the 18th of June at the Sheraton uh, Convention Center in, in Denarau Nandi. Organized by Tourism Fiji in conjunction with my ministry, Madam Speaker, the Expo will deliver a uniquely Fijian tourism experience for international buyers of the tourism project or product. Madam Speaker, by way of background, the Tourism Expo was previously run by an external for-profit organization known as the Bula Fiji Tourism Exchange and was organized to bring together tourism operators in the region to showcase their products and services. Fiji withdrew its participation due to a number of reasons, one of which was to provide an equal opportunity, Madam Speaker, for all players in the Fijian tourism industry uh, to participate. The Fijian government in 2013, Madam Speaker, decided to create an event for Fijians, by Fijians and focused on Fiji. Hence the genesis of Fijian <laughs> Tourism Expo in 2014. Madam Speaker, following the success of the inaugural uh, Fiji FTE in uh, 2014, where a total of 423 delegates attended, um, the, uh, the event is set to be bigger and better this year. A total of 461 participants have registered this year, and 292 of them, Madam Speaker, are local operators selling their Fijian products and services and 169 international buyers and media partners. The Expo has been designed to be affordable, Madam Speaker, and accessible for both major stakeholders and smaller niche operators. The tourism industry exhibitors attending this event will conduct 40-odd interviews, uh, business appointments throughout the three-day period, which basically amounts to about 11,000-odd meetings over the duration of the Expo with selected international buyers and, and media partners, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, this event was the culmination of the Banimarama government's <clears throat> vision of creating equal opportunity for all Fijians. The program has been tailored to cater for the needs of all service providers, big and small, and effectively promote Fiji as a tourist destination to the world. Also, Madam Speaker, contrary to the rumors that the Fijian tourism industry is struggling or on a decline, I wish to inform this honorable house, Madam Speaker, that last year we recorded the highest number of visitor arrivals ever in, F in Fijian history, which was 692,630 visitors. And the first quarter, and the first quarter, Madam Speaker, listen, listen. You never did it at 692,000. And the first quarter of 2015, Madam Speaker, has yet again broken the record of last year by recording a 7.4% increase of 143,447 visitors compared for the same period in 2014, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, events such as the Fijian Tourism Expo play, play a significant contributing role towards the increase in those visitor arrivals, Madam Speaker. It is the only such event that provides an open opportunity to market Fiji as the tourism destination. Madam Speaker, the Expo will also be enhanced by concurrent events showcasing the niche products that we have, networking functions, and an exhibition of authentic <laughs> Fijian arts and crafts, and the Fijian made and Fijian crafted village. And I also take this opportunity to thank the minister sitting beside me, Madam Speaker, 
who has worked in conjunction with us to, to ensure that this is run successfully. The Fijian made and Fijian crafted village provides an opportunity to link tourism industry players with the authentic crafters and artisans that we possess in this country, hence creating new business opportunities for the small and micro enterprises. Madam Speaker, with the, with the Fijian government's uh, continued support of initiatives such as the Fijian Tourism Expo, I believe we will enable this vibrant industry to create more economic activity and employment for our people. I thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Speaker. Supplementary question, um, uh, Honourable um, Singh. Thank you, Madam. What is the government's investment into this event? Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Honourable Minister for Tourism. Madam Speaker, the, the hosting of this event of an international calibre uh, does not come cheap. The Fijian government, through our marketing arm, Tourism Fiji, has set aside a budget of $300,000. Four, four events, but the benefits accrued are much larger and the impact on the Fijian economy is much greater. Uh, part of this budget will facilitate the organization of the FD, of TE, obviously. However, it is also intended that this budget will also cater for other initiatives in the key niche markets. And there has also been overwhelming support from the private sector. And I take my hat off to the private sector for having the faith in this government, Madam Speaker. A total of 18 sponsors have come on board this year to support the FTB, FTE in cash and in kind. And my ministry is determined to ensure the growth and the sustainability of this event for our tourism industry. It is basically envisioned that within, within a short space of time it will become a self-sustaining uh, event driven by the tourism industry. Thank you. I now give the floor to the Honourable Ratabiri Aminawoka. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, Madam Speaker, just, just to... Uh, just at the outset, let's just uh, ask the government to stop bragging about tourism visit arrivals until there is a million visitors, Madam Speaker, because they should have reached it by now, or very close to it. Yeah. And if they can do it, Madam Speaker, let us ask us we can do it for them, Madam Speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Madam Speaker, let me, let me just put a bit of background to this tourism expo. It used to be called Bula. BFT Tourism Exchange, and we used to give 20% of the space to our South Pacific neighbors. 20% of the space. We used to give it to them. Because from PNG to France Polynesia, we are more than half of tourism. We used to think of them, and you are creating a hub. We are becoming a hub. We strengthen the Fiji product. Madam Speaker, can I ask the Minister, have we given up our position as the hub of the Pacific? Honourable Minister. Madam Speaker, most definitely not. Thank you. I now give the floor to the Honourable Sanjit Patel. Madam Speaker, uh, before I ask this question, um, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the women from, uh, all the ladies from Nandi, my hometown. Uh, for most of them, this is their first trip to the parliament. Um, thank you very much. Um, Madam Speaker, my question is to the Minister. What were the benefits uh, realised as a result of last year's inaugural event? Thank you. Thank you. Honourable Minister for Industry, Trade and Tourism. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, the last year's event was actually a tremendous success with about 140 odd international buyers of tourism products and 150 exhibitors selling in Fiji. And the event provided, provides obviously increased uh, visibility in both the traditional and non-traditional markets. Um, the buyers are, are more aware of the products that, that Fiji has to offer. Now, in, in terms of the success of the inaugural expo, Madam Speaker, uh, is evident in the increase in the visit arrivals from last year to, the, uh, to this year. The total arrivals of 692,630 and the total foreign income, again, I hope they're listening, the total foreign income is $1.405 billion, and it was more than what was forecasted. So it's actually a success. And you know, whilst, whilst I'm standing, Madam, it's not, about, it's not about the million visitors. It's about the yield, Madam Speaker. 